Hello, today I wanted to chat about the Dyson Airwrap, specifically the new longer barrels that came out um, almost a year ago now. I mentioned this in a favorites video at the beginning of the year and I've been meaning <laughs> to do a video on it, um, showing you guys how I use it, comparing it to the, the shorter version or the original version, but I am just now getting around to it. So I picked up my Dyson Airwrap well over a year ago now, it was March 2019 and I love it. It makes styling my hair so much easier and I do still use my original Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. I feel like there's room in your hair tool wardrobe for both of these. Um, it really just depends on what you like to do with your hair. So I wanted to do this video because I have gotten um, a few questions about the Dyson Airwrap and even just kind of in my subscription box, I've been seeing this tool pop up quite a few times. People doing the reviews on it, talking about why they like it, how they use it, all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would just chime in and give you the added bonus of talking about the new longer curling barrels. Um, I wanted to answer one question before I talk about or continue talking about the Dyson Airwrap and that is, um, you know, the main question I get is do you need both of these or do I still use the original supersonic hair dryer? Um, I probably don't think you need both of them if you, you know, don't have the means to have both of them or if you don't want to have like too much I guess clutter in your home. If I were to recommend just one of these, I would probably recommend the Airwrap because it does come with a hair drying tool. It's not as powerful as the Supersonic, um, but if you want kind of just like an all-in-one device, um, the Airwrap is probably more bang for your buck. I've had the Supersonic for, I don't know, three or four years now. And um, yeah, I love it still to this day. It still works perfectly. So it's definitely, um, you know, a good investment in terms of a hair dryer. Although I've had like Conair hair dryers in the past that were like 50 bucks or less that still worked really great. But um, yeah, this is definitely like a luxury buy. Both of these are really luxury buys, but the build quality is great on both of them. And uh, I don't think you would regret picking up either of these. Anyway, back to the Dyson Airwrap. Um, the longer barrels came out, like I said, about a year ago, um, and I just picked mine up at the beginning of the year and I've been loving them ever since. This is the original length, and then this one is the, the longer version. I'll put up pricing and all of that stuff here because I don't remember off the top of my head, but you can buy the um, longer barrels separately. And I actually just saw on Sephora, at least in Canada, that you can actually buy the Dyson Airwrap set with the longer barrels now. So you can actually have a choice of either or, so you can continue with the original size or the longer size, it's up to you, and it's the same price, which is great. I mentioned this in my favorites video, but the reason I got the longer version to begin with is because even though I love the air wrap and, um, you know, like I said, it just helps me style my hair a lot easier, the longer my hair got, um, the, I guess, less hair I could wrap around the barrel and then I just found that it was taking a little bit longer and longer each time as my hair grew to actually curl my hair. Um, so when I did see that they launched the um, longer barrel I thought it was perfect because this would work really even if your hair is shorter. Um, so I feel like if you have the choice between getting the set with the longer barrel or the shorter barrel I would suggest just getting the longer one because even when your hair is shorter this would work. You'll see in the demo um, how both of these barrels work to curl hair and they both curl hair beautifully, but it's just all about convenience for me. So if you wanna see how I use the Dyson Airwrap and how the longer barrel compares to the shorter barrel, then keep watching. Note that the demo you're about to see here was filmed in May of this year, so May 2020, and it was, um, like I said, kind of peak COVID lockdown, so my hair was quite, quite long. It's much longer than it is now. And um, so you can see really the, the difference between how the two barrels work. Okay, so I just washed my hair and it's currently in this um, hair turban from Aquis. And I got it from Sephora, I think I mentioned it a couple of years ago because I first discovered it back then and I absolutely love it. I have like two 
two of these or three? I have three, no, two of the turbans and one towel. And I can say I definitely prefer the turban a little bit better because it just stays in place better than a towel, at least for me. Anyway, I'll show you guys how I prep my hair for styling. And then um, I'll show you guys the difference between the short barrel versus the longer barrel. So my hair is still pretty wet. I've had my hair in the turban for probably 30 to 40 minutes, but I don't actually um, wear this very tightly around my hair because sometimes I feel like it just pulls too much and then it hurts after a while. So I wear it really loosely. So that's why um, it's a lot more damp than it would be if I really had this like tightly wound around my hair. In terms of hair products, the only thing that I use to start on my damp hair is some sort of like heat control and like frizz tamer sort of cream. So the one I'm using right now is the Verb Ghost Prep. So I like to put this cream mid to the ends. I don't put anything in my roots. I've been playing with a center part. It's not my preferred part on my hair. I do prefer like a side part because I feel like it looks makes my hair look like it has a little bit more volume than it really does. Um, but the center part, I've been kind of just playing around with and it's kind of perfect for this demonstration so we can see how well um, each barrel works on the hair. So you can kind of see it uh, for comparison purposes. So I'm going to do my best to split my hair down the middle. I feel like this is pretty even. So when you're using the curling barrel with the Dyson Airwrap, your hair has to be kind of like the perfect amount of dampness. So not 100% dry because then it won't, um, it'll still curl it, but it will fall immediately and not damp, super damp because it will be, your hair will be essentially like too heavy for the air to wrap around the barrel. It actually still does work, but you have to take really, really, really small sections. And we don't wanna do that because then it will literally take forever. So you have to dry your hair to about, I don't wanna say like 70% dry. At least that's what has worked for me. So the air wrap does come with a blow dryer attachment, which is this guy, but I do have the original Dyson hair dryer. So that's what I'll use. So now that my hair is actually ready to be styled, I will be styling this half of my head with the shorter barrel and then this half of my head with the longer barrel. When you're looking at these two side by side, you're thinking this one looks really, really small. Like this should be the size that they have originally come out with. But this size is actually the size of a typical curling wand. Um, or curling iron, I should say. So the one with the clamp style, um, because the clamp obviously takes up a lot of room on the barrel, you can see that where the clamp starts and ends is pretty much the same size as this wand. But because of the technology behind this, although it is pretty neat how the hair um, automatically wraps on its own, this size with longer hair is very, very difficult to manage. When you have the longer barrel, your hair just doesn't spill out on the bottom, which is great because you, one, you can take slightly bigger sections and it's a little bit quicker and it's a little bit less messy. I've sectioned my hair, so I'm going to do one quick curl with the shorter barrel on this side and then one curl with the longer barrel on this side just so you can quickly see the difference. I always like to use the highest um, velocity of air and also the highest heat when I'm curling because um, the highest velocity I feel like just helps uh, suck the hair onto the barrel and then also the highest heat just really helps lock in the style and it helps it um, last longer for me. With the other tools, whether it's the blow dryer tool or the brush tool, I usually do kind of like a medium heat um, and then maybe a lower air velocity because I just don't feel like I need that high heat, high setting. So this is about how much hair I would take typically with the shorter barrel. It really depends on your hair type and your hairstyle. I have fine hair, but I do have kind of a lot of it compared to typically how much hair people with fine hair usually have. Um, so I have a lot of hair, but it's fine. Like I don't have coarse hair or curly hair. Um, it's straight and fine, and that's just how it is. So I usually can get away with um, picking up 
a little bit more hair. If you have really thick hair, you might have to like cut your section down a bit. So for each section, I hold it at about like three inches from the end. I turn the tool on, I let it do its thing, and then I leave it on for, I don't know, 10 seconds. I do a cool shot for another five seconds, and then I turn it off and release. You might be able to see here how um, there's a little bit of like hair that's kind of just falling off the edge. I find that if you use um, really big sections, you'll get a lot more of that. It'll just kind of spill off the edge of the barrel here. So I'm just using the cool shot now. So you do get um, like this really tight curl, but once you brush it out, um, it looks actually really great. So for this side, I'm going to take a slightly um, thicker section, as you might be able to see. I do the exact same technique. Um, I always like to aim the hair for the center of the barrel, so where the arrows are. I just feel like it um, helps attach the hair onto the barrel a lot easier, and then as you bring the wand closer to your scalp, it just helps evenly distribute all the hair. So as you can see, the curl is essentially the same, um, but you could just hold a little bit more with a longer barrel. <laughs> okay, to speed this along, I'm just going to finish the hair up, um, time lapse style. So I'll do one side first and then the other side. Okay, so this is how the hair looks um, curled. It does look really crazy right now because um, the curls are still really tight on both sides, but there's essentially no difference in the way the curls look. <laughs> the difference is really just the ease of use depending on your hair length. So I'm going to brush the curls out and then we'll talk about my final thoughts here. I'm also going to put a bit of oil through my hair. Okay, so like I said, this is the finished look. I did add a bit of um, dry shampoo and texturizing spray. So the dry shampoo I was using is from Dry Bar, and then I was using the Orbe texturizing spray. And the curls look pretty much exactly the same. If they look slightly different, it's probably just because I did one half first, so it has fallen a little bit more than the other half, but I will add um, some footage at the end also to show you guys what this hair looks like the next day, just so you can see how well kind of the hold is. The main difference between these two is just really ease of use. They give you the exact same curl, but this one is, if you have long hair, just a lot easier to use. Your hair wraps around it a little bit nicer and you don't get any spillage, so you um, get less frizzies, I guess. You can still use this, but you just have to use smaller sections. So that is it for kind of my comparison between these two. I love the Dyson Airwrap. I think it's a great tool, a great styling device. I love that you can um, basically style your hair from wet to dry and there's no chance of actually frying your hair because this does get really, really hot, but you don't fry your hair like you would with a hot piece of metal. And I just find that um, your hair looks a little bit shinier and a little bit bouncier. My one only con, I guess, about the air wrap curling wands is that it doesn't work obviously with dry hair. So if you're trying to revive your curls the next day, you do have to dampen it. Whereas if you have a curling wand, you could just, you know, obviously heat it up and curl your hair because it's perfectly dry. Um, but with this, your hair always has to be damp and that's just the way it goes. This is just a quick follow-up on how the hair looks 
pretty much well over a day later. So I did my hair yesterday at about 11 in the morning and it is now, I don't have a watch on, but it is probably like around 3.30 right now the following day. So it's been well over 24 hours and this is also hair that I've slept on. So um, as you can see, the curls have fallen like quite a bit. I've kind of also lost a little bit of volume at the top, um, but you can see there is still quite a bit of wave at the bottom. Um, if you wanted, you could touch this up a little bit by spritzing your hair, making it a little bit damp and then going through again. I just kind of like leave it like this. I don't mind the way the curls look right now. I still think they look pretty cute. And then tomorrow, because I've kind of been going three to four days without actually washing my hair. So tomorrow, if my hair looks like really kind of dull and flat, maybe my, my roots are getting a little bit greasy, I'll actually put my hair up in a ponytail and um, I'll typically still have a little bit of curl or wave in the hair and I think it looks really nice in a ponytail. So this is how the back looks. So that is just a quick follow up on how the hair looks a day over a day later. Of course, it's gonna vary depending on your hair type, um, how much hair you have, uh, your heat settings. So uh, keep that in mind, but I am pretty satisfied with the curl the following day. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know I don't normally do hair videos because I am really crappy at doing hair, um, but the air wrap does make my life a little bit easier. So I hope if you didn't know that these existed, you do now. And if you're interested in picking one up, um, it's only available on the Dyson website. And that's it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.